Uh, is Kyle Pitts the long-term answer for the Falcons? Kyle Pitts is a really good long-term piece to build your offense around. Obviously, we've seen a lot of great receivers in this league play at a very high level for a long time, Julio Jones being one of them. But what's notable is it seems like there's a trend where the best receivers, certainly in, in recent memory, whether we're talking about Julio Jones or Calvin Johnson, a Larry Fitzgerald and Andre Johnson, they don't play on a lot of winning teams. So I think the point that a lot of people raise, in, including Zeno, is a pass catcher. And, and that's what we should probably call Kyle Pitts because he can be moved all around the formation. He's not just a tight end. Uh, a pass catcher is not necessarily a foundational building block piece. Um, but I think the case for the Falcons is if they believe that Arthur Smith can get the most out of Matt Ryan these next three to five years, however long that is, Kyle Pitts will be a heck of an asset alongside Calvin Ridley. And, and that's a pretty good trifecta to build your offense around. And you're going to be in a position where you're just going to have to fill in the other pieces, the running game, an offensive line, a defensive line. But, um, you know, Kyle Pitts is going to allow you to score a lot of points but it's not going to necessarily allow you to keep leads or stop other teams from scoring points. So we'll see how that turns out. All right. I want to welcome in Brent Rollins, a pro football focus. Now, uh, Brent, we're sitting here talking about Kyle Pitts, who's just taken with that fourth pick by the Falcons. I think it's safe to say Zeno's not high on it. Aaron, I think he's okay with it. I'm not high on it. And I think the basis for, for me, at least, not being high on it, Justin Fields is right there. I think Justin Fields could have been the, the next franchise quarterback and, you know, the guy that Matt Ryan hands the torch off to. I think Zeno just likes being mad at the world and wanted to see them trade back and get more pit, more pieces. I really wish well, you'd stop saying that. Oh, all right, I'll, I'll stop saying it. I, I'll respect your feelings. In 2021, we respect feelings. I'll, I'll listen to you. Uh, but, Brent, what do you, what do you think about Kyle? I've Pitts noticed being, that he wasn't happy. Being, being taken with that, that fourth pick. <laughs> uh, you know, in terms of... Uh, hold on one second real quick. With, with Pitts, he, he's the highest grade player in college football this past season. And for what Arthur Smith likes to do offensively, he matches perfectly with it. And in terms of like using 12 personnel, two tight ends, the Titans over the past two years, second in the NFL in terms of use of two tight ends. In terms of when you add things like that, plus play action that they use heavily with, with Arthur Smith's offense, you just you get a recipe for sustaining offense, more efficient offense, and putting Matt Ryan in situations in the offensive line in situations uh, where you know they're just going to be most successful. But Pitts is just – he is what he is. We've, we, you see it all over there on the TV now and talk about it, just the matchup nightmare that he is. 